My name is Insane Raven, and today I'm bringing you another Tales of the Hunts. This one is on Dead Island. Dead Island is easily in the game that uh, I was really overhyped for when I heard it was coming out. A zombie game set on an island? What do you do with that? Like, the one place you go in a zombie apocalypse is the island, and the island is no longer an option. What do you do with that? And then I started playing it, and I'm like, oh. Fuck. This is what you do with it. Um. It's definitely... It is such a generic zombie game. It becomes such a such a chore to try to plan in this game. Easily trying to plan in this game is... More of a test of endurance than anything else. This is, of course, the PS3 version. It's not the PS4 version. And getting this Platinum took me almost five years. And when I say five, I mean it did take me five years. It almost took me six years. Because it took me like five and a half. And it's a nightmare. Like, legit. The amount of... I played two complete full playthroughs of this game. And no less than four... Far, no, not including the two full playthroughs, five complete run-throughs of Act 1. It is a monotonous sludge of a game to try to platinum. However, if you can platinum it, you feel like you feel it. You feel the weight of the platinum. It's like, ah, I did it! I fucking did it. I don't want to play this game again. I don't have to play this game again. Because I did it. That's actually a uh, real fun fact. Why I'm not recording actual gameplay for this video. Because I don't want to have to play this game again. i played this game so many times. I don't want to have to touch it again. Also, I love the Jack Daniels uh, bottle. Second thing, I really... The thing about this game that I really enjoyed is that I enjoyed playing characters like Sam B. And specifically only Sam B. I, I remember that uh, Dead Island Riptide was actually one of the games. Uh, I was It was the only time I've ever really commented on a like announcement trailer for a video game. Um, and on the announcement trailer video game. Oh, this is just going to be looping in the background, by the way. I hope that doesn't bother you. But that's what's going to be happening. Um, on on the trailer review, it, it 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 didn't show any gameplay. I think the original, although first the first one I saw, it didn't show any gameplay. It didn't show any characters. It gave us the really fancy uh, cutscene that got the first one in so got the first game in so much trouble with not having anything to do with that cutscene. Except this one was on a boat, and the boat explodes and kills a bunch of zombies. And on the bot and on that video, I think it was on Facebook, I commented, I I just hope that Sam B comes back because he's such a fun character, and they, and one of the immediate responses was, oh yeah, so you want a stereotypical black man in the game? Okay, fine then, go fuck yourself. And I was like, I just really, really love Sam B. What's wrong with Sam B? B. So um. Uh, that happened. So, this was also a game that's kind of unique in the fact that I tried making a run for this Platinum three different times. Um, when I first got the game, I tried to make a run for the Platinum. Halfway through last year, halfway through uh, 2016, I tried to make a run for the Platinum. And then, when I actually got the Platinum, it was my final run on the Platinum. And... I think it was the fact that I did try to do three run-throughs on the, uh, on the Platinum that made it just oh so satisfying when I finally did get it. It's just, it's amazing. It was amazing to finally get the, uh, the Platinum for this game. Especially because I was trying for so hard and when I first heard of the game it was such a big deal to me and I just loved that I finally got the platinum for. It was like one of those uh, games that 
And because it's been so long, I'm like, I'm never going to get the platinum. I'm never going to do it. And then I did. And I was like, oh, my God, I got it. Guys, I got it. Um. So, yeah, so now I'm going to go into the more uh, specific trophies that I was just a bitch of getting, especially this late in the game, for the PS3 version. Um. So give me one minute. Easily the hardest trophy you're going to get when trying to platinum this game as it exists right now on the PS3 is going to be originality. Um, for the main purpose of people aren't playing this game so much anymore. So unless you want to go and get full copies of the game, give it to your friends, give it to your friends who have PS3s and coordinate a type of way Quoting in a way to get four, each of the four characters represented and doing it, do, getting this trophy quote unquote naturally, you're gonna, you're gonna have a bitch of a time I'm trying to get this trophy. Also, you guys can't hear it, but I can hear it. And I gotta say, I really enjoy the theme song of this game, even if I, if I have heard it five times now, really still enjoy it. Yeah, but originality and a lot of these other uh, busy, busy, busy people, uh, not busy, 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 uh, people person, and these are the multiplayer trophies going steady is really going to be uh, together, in, together in the light, going steady, uh, people person, and originality. I believe those are all of the. Uh, multiplayer trophies, but those are going to be the trophies that if you can't get those trophies immediately, give up. Just give up on the Dead Island PS3 Platinum Trophy because the more, more time that passes, the less likely of a chance you are going to get uh, three people in a single match. It's just the chances just drop and drop. So, I would definitely say if you're going to try to plan on this now on the PS3 and now on the PS4 for some reason, um, definitely do it with the intent of getting the multiplayer trophies first. Once, let's assume you've gotten the multiplayer trophies, then what's going to be your next most difficult group of trophies to try to get? And that's going to be really simple. It's going to be Rudin, Tudin, Ludin. Just because it's a time thing, for every like five hours, I believe, you'll get an exceptional loot. One would drop. So you have to play the game for at least 25 hours, and it sucks. Other trophies that you're going to have a, a hard time getting is there and back again, because there are two locations that everyone seems to be having a really hard time with getting, and those two locations are there's one in the city of, Mos of Moresby. And it's at the bottom left of your map. There is a little warehouse. There's nothing phenomenal about this warehouse. You don't have to go into the warehouse. But walking on the left side of this warehouse. That's where I got it. Um, there I'm back again. That's one of the two locations that a lot of people seem to miss. The other location that a lot of people seem to miss is in the jungle. Not with the... Uh, it's in the op is the main jungle area. Before you go to the laboratory, there is this outpost that is just above where the main map shows. So pretty much you have to scroll up on the main map to kind of see it, and it'll be right there. That map does not. That outpost will not show on the map unless you know it's there. You have to kind of like look for it and like move your map around before it'll show up. And it's just one of those weird things. It's like, oh, why was that a thing that happened? It's just this. Sorry. Uh, School of Hard Knocks is, is just a trophy. You have to grind it out. If you personally hate grinding, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. You, um, I had to play the game all the way through. And I had to play on a new game plus about halfway through. Doing all of the side quest missions and doing everything I could do, I could think of doing, um, until I got until I got it, and it was just such a long and tedious prog process that I honestly hated it in every way, shape, and form. 
Uh, Ride for Life is a really annoying trophy that, in my personal opinion, just has no respect for your time at all. And for me, those are the worst kinds of trophies. You pretty much have to complete Act 1 with all four characters. You don't have to kill anything. The second Act 2 shows up on your screen, you've completed it for that character and move on to your next one. Oh No You Don't isn't a hard trophy by any chance, but it was the last trophy I got. Oh No You Don't, you have to kill a ram with a taco skill. The rams are the zombies that are in um, straight jackets. Now, what I would suggest for you is for your School of Hard Knocks trophy, do it with Sam B. Even if it goes against how you typically play these kinds of games, do it with Sam B. Because that way, with the other three main characters... When it comes to Right for Life, you can just go through and play it. Because I didn't do that, with, and I had to get, oh no you didn't because it was my last trophy, I had to go through and play every single side quest mission again, just to level up to a place where I even had the ability. Not to the point where the ability was good, just that I had the ability. Um, so definitely, if you want just to have an easier time, get it through just a little bit quicker, I definitely suggest having your main character as Sam B. It just works out that I love him as well. But other than that, I don't have anything else to add. This is what the Platinum looks like. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys have the Platinum Trophy, if you guys have the whole wide world went away Platinum Trophy for Dead Island, uh, let me know in the comment section down below if the trophies are different on the PlayStation 4. Um, and the ones we've talked about. Let me know in the comment section down below. Other than that, I don't have anything else to add. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Ben Raven. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.